Here we go with the instructions uh, along with the manual, the little package. Obviously, it's the manual. Yes, charts and stuff as to the, you know, more information. Uh, there's a funny thing I found in here that gets. Oh, here you go. So, this is a little tag that you cut out and thread it, punch a hole in here, thread it and tie it on the water watcher. I guess the uh, lifeguard type of person. And it's got in, it's obviously English. You say that's French and that Spanish. So that I found that funny. Uh, but I guess they have to cover their butts, you know. Here's another warning tag. I guess you've got to put this somewhere on the pool. I'm, I'm gonna assume, or in the frame. Probably in the pool. Or somewhere near the pool. A couple of patches they put in there. I hope I don't have to use them. More paperwork. Uh, manual for the pump and manual for the ladder. So, uh, yeah, I'm, again, I'm gonna cut it off for a second and get more of this stuff out. All right, guys, I just put the tarp down and uh, this thing is huge. Took uh, most of my uh, patio here. Back up a little, and you can see there. I don't think the pool itself is that big, but I think uh, the tarp was just an overshot. Uh, definitely overkill with this tarp. Yeah, so I think this is uh, where I'm gonna put it for now. Um, I'm gonna figure out where exactly the pole's gonna go. Obviously, it's gonna have to be towards that corner over there. So gives me enough space over here on the other side of the patio so we can use it for other things. So, um, just uh, updating you on the situation here. Quick right update. Back. I kind of set the pole down. Just some advice. Uh, make sure you know where your connections are gonna be because especially if you're doing this by yourself. As, as, as you can see, I want everything as far as the pump and all the hoses on this side. And when I first laid it down, they were on that side and that way, I guess there's no way of knowing when the thing is folded. Again, make sure you know where your fittings are because if you set it down once and to move it, especially if you're doing it alone, I wouldn't recommend it, uh, but I'm not gonna give up. It's all for the kids, you know? So, you kind of have an idea on how this is gonna sit again uh, i don't know if uh, it's bigger than i expected but we'll find out once i have the, the legs down um the legs are over there on the side uh oh and another thing just make sure if it's breezy or windy put some uh, stone brick or something on the on the tarp because you know it starts flapping around and you get kinks and stuff like that and again especially if you're doing this on your own it's 10,000 degrees outside like it is right now not a good idea so let me continue on and I'll be back alright guys quick update after a lot of thought I have decided to move the pool or what where I'm gonna set it up down to the grass one because I don't want to lose all the patio space up here for you know other things and two I feel that the grass would be a lot better for the for the pool itself since it's not concrete um, I'm afraid the concrete will damage it even though there's a liner underneath but you know better be safe than sorry so again this is gonna take me a while and uh, again this is I'm doing all this on my own but I'm gonna move everything from here to there all right wish me luck all right guys so the I finally moved the pool uh, just some advice if you're planning on moving your pool roll it up and pick it up don't drag it because you run the risk of uh, cutting it or puncturing it against the sharp edge or something just just pick it up roll it up and pick it up again it's best if you have some help uh, and if it's not hot as crap out here 
I've had to take a couple of breaks because again it's super hot so don't want to pass out yet um, all right so let me continue on and I'll be back <laughs> hey guys so I, I went and put all the uh, top pieces into the loops And now we came to time to attach the uh, steam connectors. So, well, how they're supposed to go in is you got these little pins and that little plastic washer that you push through that hole on top of each side and it comes down at the bottom. So that's how you're supposed to attach it now. Instead of having you sit and do this on each, every time you want, you're gonna connect the T-connector, just go inside or somewhere where it's cool and put the little washer in through the pin already. That way you don't have to struggle to, to do that every time you need to put one of those. So I did all, I did all of them already. So just a little trick, I guess. Again, mostly because it's hot out here and I don't want to sit out here, dude. And uh, fight my way through putting these pins in the washers. Um, again, I'm going to go ahead and do all of it, all of those, and then I'll come back and give you guys an update. Alright guys, so another update here. Uh, I finished putting all the top beams with the T-connectors, and now I put most of the vertical uh, posts. Um, they do go through that little loop there. You can go through and then lock up here with the T-connector. Um, just some, uh, to make it easy, don't, when you put all of these uh, pins, don't push it through at the bottom after, before you put these uh, vertical beams because while they're on the ground, it's hard to put them on or push, push them through. So once they're raised up like that, it's a lot easier to go under here and figure out where, where the pin comes through. Uh, so I did that on all of them. So once I have all the vertical beams up, I'll go ahead and push those pins through. But uh, yeah, this is, this is gonna be a huge pull. Uh, and uh, I don't know, I think I might have bitten more than I could chew. But you know what? It probably will be fun anyway. Uh, so I got a couple more beams here to put on. And we'll be done and straighten everything out and start filling her up. Alright, I'll come back with another update. Alright guys, uh, all the vertical legs are in. This is what the final product looks like. Well, actually I'm not even finish it but you know as far as uh, the assembly goes I still gotta connect the pump started start filling it up with water I left this gap over here just in case you know something happens with that with the fence I didn't want it to be touching the fence so um, what I'm gonna do because uh, as I told you earlier I was worried about the car uh, the killing the grass so these corners over here the tarp or the uh, extra tarp I'm just gonna roll it under the pool to minimize the uh, grass uh, damage uh, but um, here's the inside still gotta stretch it out a little bit um, they say you need to put at least an inch or so of water in there before you start uh, pulling the wrinkles um, so I think uh, I'm done with the assembly of the actual pool itself, so I'm gonna start filling her up and uh, see you guys uh, in a bit. All right, guys, this is the last update. There's the pool filling up. There's a few pieces in, in there that at this point I can't pull out because uh, the weight of the water is just too much, so I'll just let it be. Uh, not too bad. There's a couple of few of them over here, uh, but the most part is increase less so uh, as, as you can see we're on a bit of a grade because the water over here is uh, about three inches now and there's nothing over here so 
Yeah, it's a Alright, well, I'll give you a last update. Hey guys, so after a couple of uh, fails, uh, it is actually looking pretty nice. Uh, what I gotta tell you is that the first time, you know, I put it down and I had to take it back out and then put it down again. And we filled it up about halfway. And uh, we, I mean, I kind of knew that the ground here was not level. So, uh, but once the pool was up, the, there was a five inch difference between this side over here and that side over there. So, after uh, consulting with a few people and watching YouTube videos and stuff like that, I decided to do it the right way. And um, I hired a couple of guys to come and dig the ground up and level it using sand. And uh, so, that took about uh, another couple of days. So I figure if this thing is going to sit here for a while, might as well do it the right way. So today, finished uh, filling the pool up, uh, installing the filter and the pump, and the pool is running. So, and I, I'd say it's pretty lovely. It's uh, about an inch, half an inch difference from this side to that side over there, which is a lot better than five inches. So, um, guys, I would advise to you decide to do this. First of all, put it on level ground. Make sure all these uh, posts are straight. And uh, that's that would be it. That would be about it because I, I wouldn't want you guys to waste the, as much water as I did. So that would be the last update for this pool bill. And um, good luck if you ever decide to do this. Um, I tell you this though, um, it looks like it's gonna be fun. Uh, so we're in, uh, it's, what, July 7th now, and uh, we got a good at least a good three months of uh, enjoying the pool, hopefully, hopefully, if not daily, every other day. Alright guys, well, good luck. If you have any questions, uh, post them on the comment section down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. You'll have a nice day.